Hi, welcome you all. Today we are going to learn how to implement stack using list in Python. So first of all, SP our stack, okay, our list. Now we are going to implement our stack in my list S, right? Okay. So first of all, I will be having a menu. Let's say print one. If a user enters one, we are going to use push okay or he wants to push an element okay let's print two and if user enters two then we are going to pop the element and if a user wants to print the element he has to enter three right okay i think this is very straightforward code now what we are going to do is we are going to have a variable called choice choice is equals to let's say user entry right so i'm going to take int input let's say enter your choice okay i think that is also very clear now if a user enters one okay now what we need to do is let's say the element which he wants to enter input enter new element right and we are going to append this list that's really very simple okay now okay this first part is done now let us code for else if sorry l if and then specify choice is equals to equals to let's say 2 and then we are going to check first of all whether my stack is empty already or has some element or not so for this we are going to check if our s is equals to equals to the element or empty list right if it is we are going to say under flow station cannot enter sorry cannot pop element okay or you can give a suitable message like stack is already empty then let's say else if this is not the case then we are going to pop an element right so what we need to do is print let's say we say element popped okay we can have element pop is equals to s dot pop okay remember pop element uh, pop function returns a element deletes the element from the end and returns it so deleted element will be printed okay now if a user enters 3 let's say so if choice is equals to equals to 3 then we say uh, print list that will be fine or s this will print all the elements right or if you want to iterate it give if you want to uh, have a nice output you can have you can you can iterate through the list and print all the elements okay but it should be from the back okay or you must print it like this from i in range let's say s then of s from up to 0 and minus 1 okay so here we have length minus 1 and we have it should be minus 1 okay now I'm going to print this print let's say I okay so let us try to run this program okay we can run but this time only one element will be added or deleted what we are going to do we are going to have one more choice 
for this that is 4 exit and we are going to put all these things inside the loop ok so let's while let's say true and if the choice is is equals to equals to 4 then what we are going to do we are going to break through the loop ok or we are going to break the loop right else if user has invalid choice then we can simply fire a message invalid choice kindly try valid options right okay one more thing uh, what we need to do is let's say we have to use um, s right okay uh, i need to print element of s s of let's say i so that i can print all the element in reverse order now let us uh, run this program okay so let us use our program now see i'm going to push an element so choice is one and then push some values let's say 100 is my choice and if i try to print it now you can see 100 is printed it is not looking good but you can understand 100 value is printed okay now let us uh, have one more element to be inserted one more element and this time it should be 100 so now you can see if i print it so 200 and 100 so it is added at the top right now one more thing one more element let's say i'm going to add this time 400 you can see 400 is added at the top if i try to print this okay so you can see 400 is printed so let us do one more element and then we are going to pop it right so now this time i have i'm going to enter again one and this time thousand the value okay so now if i try to print this my current stack is thousand four hundred two hundred and one hundred let us try to pop element okay two okay now it says element pop that is thousand so from the top i have popped the element okay now let's say one more element and if you see now 400 is popped now if i try to display my stack status you can see 200 and 100 is only elements so one by one i am going to pop all the elements see now all the elements are popped if i try to print the status it shows nothing right now what i am going to do is i am still going to pop it as i know there is no element see my program shouts at me and says underflow cannot pop element okay because there is no more element to be deleted so this is the working of my stack for let's say fourth option exit now if you want this to be more nice so you can say let's say print okay let's modify this little bit into let's say 20 here also and at the end also and let's see this okay so if you want this to be printed and let's say have some new lines so that there is a gap let's run this program quickly okay so okay one i'm going to I'm going to print one okay and this time 400 will be my first element and then again choice one and element will be let's say 100 okay let's display this element now you can see now this is more nicer you can see elements or you can move elements in the stack case or stack status right so you can modify the program accordingly which looks good right so that's all for today Thank you and have a nice day.